it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. In today's episode, we're working on the upper platform and wiring. Let's go! One of the issues about putting all this extra weight on the car is that we're getting a case of the droopy drawers. The suspension starting to buckle a little bit under the weight. The kit comes with some spacers so we can adjust the height of the ride of the suspension. So let's install those. First, we'll take the platform off. I've already taken off the Jetson and the top platform from our previous episode. Put these aside. Building these prototypes is mostly about taking things apart and putting them back together again. We have some wires connected here. We'll disconnect those. It's the servos, some motors. Put the top platform over here. Let's get our spacers out. Up front, we'll put one medium and two smalls. And out back, we'll put a large. Let's try the front first. Okay, there's one side. Let's try the back here. Okay, that's one side. Let's try the other. Hop, hop, hop. And one more. Okay. Let's prepare to put our platform back on. We'll put on a servo extension cable to make our wiring job a little bit easier. There's another support for the top platform. Let's put that in. Let's attach the platform to the chassis. Okay, let's put the Jetson back on. Have some nylon washers this time. And now it's time for the IMU. Goes right here. And now we're ready for the top platform. Let's see if she fits. One doggy. Fate is on our side. Okay, now we're ready to do some wiring. The USB hub comes with a long cable to connect the hub to a computer. I took it upon myself to get a shorter cable. So I'm going to plug this into the USB hub down here. And then the USB on the Jetson. So this is much more manageable. We'll have to put a little zip tie or something here to keep it away from the wheel. 
But other than that, it looks good. For the IMU, it uses a mini USB cable. So for the moment, I'm just going to plug it in and not worry about the cable routing. Just throw it in here. Now we're ready to install the battery in the camera. But first, let's talk about the router. The MIT car uses an extra router, mostly so it can get better range. It uses this particular router. Technical support, quick installation guide. I'm not sure that would help me in this situation. Here's the router. It's a wall wart, it has a cable and paddles. So basically it mounts on the top platform. The battery mounts on top of here and there's an ethernet port that goes directly to the Jetson. So we can try it both ways. We can mount this on the top platform and then the battery on top. And we can try it like that. And we can also try it with the battery alone. It's time to attach the router and the battery to the upper platform. We are going to use 3M dual lock reclosable fastener for the attachment. Take a look here. Can I eyeball it? Times four. There's a little bit of overlap here. Probably come back and trim it off with an X-Acto knife. But since I'm wearing my Black Sabbath shirt, I think we're close enough for rock and roll right now. Okay, there's one. Let's do the battery next. So if we're just going to run it with the battery configuration without a router, we just double click it in place and we're good to go. Let's also get the router ready in case we want to run it that way.
Basically, you just lock up a little bit of a corner on each piece of tape. Take off the protective film. Then you're ready to place it. And you lock it down. Make sure all the adhesive is bonded. You're good to go. So now we can run either configuration pretty easily. We just slap the component that we want into place. Slap is the, probably the wrong word. <laughs> Next up, let's mount the camera. On the MIT race car, they use a Stereolabs Z camera. There's a quarter 20 hole here, which is a screw for mounting standard camera mounts. I'll undo this, get rid, of, get rid of its little stand. I should probably take this platform off before mounting it. Do that real quick. Put it together, take it apart, put it together, take it apart. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's mount it. So you can see it has quite a bit of cable. So we'll have to do some cable management on it. Let's put it back on the platform. Putting it back together, putting it back together. Okay, let's gather up our little tail here. Hmm, it has a nice little cable wrap on it. We'll thread it down. And we have some cable management and we'll plug it into the hub. Then we're ready to put our router on. It appears to be on there. And then our battery. Okay, that appears to be on there. Let's hook up the router. There's a little ethernet cable that goes from the Jetson to the router. And we'll put on the antennas. One antenna. Okay. Now we are ready to apply the power from the battery. This goes to 1620. The blue matches the blue on the battery. And then this plugs directly into the Jetson. So the Jetson's down here. Just plug it in. Obviously we have a little bit of cable management. We'll probably have to weasel it through one of these holes down here. Clean that up. And then there's a 12 volt. This is the cable provided with the battery itself. I'll have to splice together connectors so that we can drive both the router and the USB hub underneath here. But at this point, we should have a car that's ready to go. The next step is to install software. If you want more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe.
Thanks for watching.